Do you have a room that looks like this? Today I'm cleaning my messy storage room from start to finish and sharing with you some simple organization tricks. Hey everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. In case you guys are new here, I have been a DIY and decor blogger, YouTuber, content creator for almost 12 years now, so I've accumulated quite the amount of decor. I always get asked, where do you store all your decorations? Today I'm going to show you. I haven't showed you until now because it has been so embarrassing. And finally I've cleaned everything up and I'm going to show you how I did it. Some really handy tricks that I learned along the way and how you can organize your storage room too. Let's get started. Okay guys, here's the room that we're working with. Oh my goodness. This is so embarrassing. It's so terrible. But I hope that some of you have a space like this in your homes. I think some of you do probably, I hope. Let me know down in those comments below if you do. This is the storage room in my work studio. It's a building that we have on our property. Long story short, we bought our acreage when it was just this building on it. It's a four bay garage that the previous owners converted into a little living space. We renovated that, lived in that for seven years. It's 800 square feet. And then we were able to build our home. Then my parents lived in here for a couple years while they were building their home. And then after that, I was able to convert it into a space for work. So I could have a little place to film videos and do all of that kind of thing. If you're interested in that story, I'll leave a link to a video on that down in the description box below. First things first, let's start with the Christmas decorations. My first tip for storage room organization for seasonal decor is number one, keep any original packaging that makes sense for your decor, especially for breakables like this. I'm going to share seven storage room organization tips, so make sure to watch the full video to get all of my tips. Now tip number two is if you don't have good original packaging, invest in smart storage solutions like this ornament box I found on Amazon. I will link it in the description box below, and this is going to help you use your space better. I thought this one was fantastic because it has these little cardboard dividers so I can make sure all of our special breakable ornaments are safe in here. Plus it has three different layers so I'm able to put all kinds of ornaments in there. Now I'm moving on to the plastic ornaments. I'm just dividing them by color essentially. So I have all of the really colorful ornaments in one bin, all of the metallic ornaments in another, and then I decided to put all of the white ornaments in a third bin. I bought these bins from Home Depot Canada and I will link them in the description box below. That brings me to organization room tip number three. Really, you should organize in a way that makes sense to you organize either by season. So here I'm putting Halloween decorations in another bin, fall in another, and then Christmas has its own set of bins. And I'm also trying to organize by color when it comes to the Christmas decor. But some of you might want to organize differently by room or something like that. Do you need to make your organization easy like I am where everything's basically just carefully put in a bin? Or do you wanna do it a little bit more complex? Make sure that how you organize really makes sense for you and your lifestyle. I found this shelving at Home Depot Canada. I bought three of them. I really love these shelves, you guys. They're made of recycled plastic resin. They're very lightweight, but they're very strong. I believe they can hold up to 750 pounds. I will link these in the description box below as well. And look at how easy they are to put together. You don't need any tools. I was able to put together three of these in probably less than half an hour. So simple. And I've read lots of reviews on these and lots of other people agree with me that they're a really great buy. That brings me to my storage room organization tip number four, which is buy shelving that fits your room and takes advantage of vertical space. I'm always preaching about taking an advantage of vertical space, especially if you have a smaller space to work with. And I really need to follow my own advice here. All of my seasonal decor was just laying all over the floor, making it so hard for me to find anything that I needed. Now adding these shelves is gonna take advantage of that vertical space and give me so much more room.
Now I bought these bigger bins at Home Depot and they're a little bit too big for these shelves. I forgot that the poles on either side of the shelves was gonna take up some of that room. So I did have to put them in the shelves at an angle. If you do not like that look, if it makes you a little bit uncomfortable to see these at a slant, just make sure to buy a little bit smaller of baskets and bins. That brings me to tip number five for organization, measure, measure, measure. Make sure that any bins you buy fit your shelves or the space you want them to go perfectly. I'm using a combination of bins that I purchased specifically for these shelves. Plus I really wanted to use all of the storage that I had on hand so I'm not throwing anything out that's perfectly good. Trying to use what I have, even if everything doesn't match perfectly, is something I'm really trying to work on this year. When you purchase shelving, especially when you want to store really heavy things like I'm going to do here, you need to make sure that it is anchored to the wall properly. What I'm doing for mine is I'm putting a piece of wooden trim on the back wall here and I am screwing it right to the studs in the wall. So I'm using my stud finder to find all the studs. I'm putting really long deck screws into the trim and then into the studs. And then I'm taking some more little pieces of trim to kind of bring my shelving forward a little bit because of my bin issue at an angle. Then I'm taking the anchor pieces that were included in the shelving units and screwing those to the trim. So I have those screwed to the trim and the trim screwed to studs in the wall. So that should help my shelves stay nice and secure. I'm just testing all my bins to make sure they're going to fit and now I'm ready to go to the next part. Here's all my Christmas decorations all organized. Everything is really simple for me. For me personally, I like to keep things simple. I'm not the type that's going to, you know, place bins inside of bins and rainbow order everything. I need things simple because that's really the only way that I am going to keep up with this. But definitely, like I mentioned before, organize in a way that works best for you. So I'm placing all of the bins on my new shelves, makes such a difference in here. Now on the other side of my storage room, I'm placing more of my large scale art that I can't fit anywhere else in this room. And then I have these really large bins that I bought quite a few years ago, and they have some more Christmas decor inside like greenery and other larger Christmas items. Along with all of my work things and decor things, I'm storing a few personal items in here as well. Now we had this really nice row of Ikea kitchen cabinets. We put this in here uh, 15 years ago when we bought this place. This used to be our master bedroom. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm using these cabinets to store all of my pillows and my blankets. As you can see, I have quite the pillow collection and I know a lot of you have commented that over the years. So what I'm doing is folding each pillow cover in half and then folding it into thirds so that I can stack these upright. You might notice if you watch my videos and do a little bit of sleuthing, I reuse a lot of my decor over and over again, especially when I'm helping my friends and family decorate their spaces. I have kind of this staging library of a ton of pillows, pillow covers, blankets, lots of little decor items, and I use that stuff over and over again. So you might catch that in my videos if you watch and see how I reuse that. And that's why I do have a lot of different things here. It's kind of my staging library for my room makeovers. And this made me so happy to see all of my pillow covers in one spot. It's gonna make it a lot easier to find everything when I need it for my next project. That brings me to tip number six is if you have things like this, blankets, pillow covers, curtains, fold them vertically for easy access. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create some labels for all of my bins. This brings me to tip number seven, which is create your labels after organizing and placing things in your bin. That is going to help you know exactly how many bins you're needing and exactly what is going in each bin. So I'm starting by trying to use my Cricut to create my labels. I love using my Cricuts for labels most of the time. So I just used a fun font and some white permanent vinyl and I'm going ahead and trying this out on a couple of my bins. So I actually didn't like how these turned out. I found them really hard to read because I, for whatever reason, chose a really thin font and didn't like the white on the bins. So we're gonna go to plan B. Plan B is to, just to use the sticker project paper and I'm just printing off some of the labels with my favorite font. This font is called Bohemian. It is fun, but it's still easy to read and it's just black font on white paper. 
Then I'm just cutting the pieces of paper into quarters and peeling the backing off the sticker sheet and placing the papers on the bins. So this is really easy. Anybody can do this. You just need sticker paper and a printer. Once you make the list of all the labels that you need, you can just create the label, label files on Word or Photoshop or whatever you use and cut them out and place them on. You don't even have to use sticker paper. You could just use plain paper as well and some tape. After I put these on, it felt so good, you guys. I was so happy to have this done. So as a reminder, here is how my horrid storage room looked before. And here is how it looks now. I am so happy I finally did this, you guys. This was a long time coming. I put this off for far too long. Future me is going to be so happy that current me has done this. Decorating for Christmas next year, my home, other people's homes, it's gonna be so much easier. Here's a look at what I did with my Christmas tree. I just grabbed this big bag from Amazon and I kind of shoved this in a corner here. I love how this Ikea unit now looks with all of my pillows, pillow covers, blankets, curtains. It's gonna be a lot easier to access all of this stuff too. In case you're wondering about the other decor elements that I use, like for example, vases and flowers and things like that, I do have that in the front part of my studio, that kind of more pretty stuff displayed. If you're interested in seeing an update on that, I can share that with you. Let me know in the comments below. But as far as the storage room looks, I think it turned out really great. It's not the most beautiful makeover, but it certainly is practical and I am so happy I finally did this. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed this transformation and found these storage room organization tips valuable. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any more storage room tips that you can share with us. How do you organize your seasonal decor? Do you have any particular way that you sort it or store it? I would love to know. Please share that down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I have a ton more videos that I would love to share with you, so I'm gonna share ones that I hope you enjoy watching next right up here.